man who's never afraid to have his photograph taken because he's so beautiful and he knows it is our deputy academic principal, Nick Hillman. And it's my pleasure now to welcome him onto the podium to formally open today's conference. Nick. <laughs> Thank you very much, Cal. Um, yes, so welcome to LSBM's seventh teaching and learning conference, um, and the theme of which today is TEF taking education further. Um, we seem again in higher education to be in a state of flux. Um, we seem to always be in a state of flux, but somehow I feel now it's, it's a, a, a more changing environment than we've been in for a long while. Um, we've got new wide-ranging higher education legislation and a newly elected government, yet policy seems more unclear in many ways than it's always seemed, and the government is certainly um, less stable than it has been for many years. Um, we've got data matters coming at us from all angles. There's much talk of data analytics and data um, dashboards and destructive data and destructive technologies, and everyone's talking about it. Um, everyone's making great claims as to where it's going to go, but I've yet really to hear anything um, coherent about where we're going to end up with data futures in the coming years. Um, and we've been talking about technology and how it's going to affect higher education, higher education for many years, and we seem to be in that very same situation again now. Um, we have yearly reports from employers on how our graduates do not have the key transferable skills that they need for the um, graduate market, um, yet these transferable skills seem to change each year, and employers and the industry tells, tell us that they don't know what jobs are going to be available in 10 years for our graduates anyway. Um, and even a kind of understanding of what success in higher education means or is, is quite confused at the moment. We keep getting told about new metrics, about um, uh, TEF metrics, about um, learning gain, about widening participation engagement, retention and pro progression figures. Um, and now the latest one onto the agenda is the um, highly skilled, sustained graduate employment as measured by longitudinal HMRC salary at exits. So that's over one and three and five years, I believe, on the LEO um, measurement of how well our graduates are doing into the future in the employment market. So we have all these metrics and all these measurements of success, but we keep bouncing them backwards and forwards and don't really seem to have agreed which set is the set we're working from. Um, for all the uncertainty, though, I think we're moving into a more positive um, direction with um, all of these matters. Um, we're no longer in the Department for Business, Innovation and Skills, and we're back in the Department for Education, which just intuitively has to make sense. Um, and we're working towards a teaching excellence framework, um, which again is putting teaching excellence back at the focus, which um, we certainly um, encourage. Two of the main aims of TEF are to ensure all students receive an excellent teaching experience that encourages original thinking, drives up engagement and prepares them for the world of work, and to recognise institutions that do the most to welcome students from a range of backgrounds and support their retention and progression. And I don't think anyone in the sector can disagree with any of that. Both of these um, underpin a lot of what we do. Um, and our raison d'etre at LSBM is to raise aspirations of our students to achieve their full potential and to make valuable contributions to society. Valuable contributions measured by ex exit aspirations, not by exit incomes. To achieve these aims, we really need to explore fully who our students are, what aspirations they come with, what they bring to our academic community, and what barriers they face. With this knowledge and understanding, we'll know better when and how we can intervene to help them get over these barriers and ultimately achieve that full potential. So today, we're going to hear from colleagues within and outside of LSBM on what we're all doing to take education further. 